Hey folks, this is Ben with Ben's Campers and I'm standing out here in the rain in Allegheny National Forest to show you guys this 1955 or 56 Ventura double decker mobile home. Uh, this isn't going to be a long video, it's going to be a quick take on this thing. Uh, we're on this guy's property, he's been generous enough to let me uh, come and we're going to be taking this trailer out of here. Uh, pending, tentatively, put it that way. There's a lot of logistics involved in moving this thing. This is a, like I said, 55 or 56, I believe. Look at this thing. What do you guys see inside this thing? Ventura Homes. And it does have uh, some pretty serious issues to face that kind of makes it borderline, you know, is it worth saving? Is it worth getting it out of here? But it really has some stuff that I think makes, makes it worthwhile. Uh, definitely gonna be some expense to this one getting this thing out of here. Again, this is a double-decker mobile home, and this is the front of the unit, so all the weight, the big weight anyways, is in front of the axles. It's a dual axle. Let's go inside this thing. So, the roof did unfortunately partially collapse, and that is really a hard nail in the coffin for this thing. But it is really... 1950s so the guy said that his family it was his family's and it's been here since the 60s and he has photographs of that so i'd like to see those photos he said i'll show me look at that old stove and everything but this thing he said they were using it up until just a few years ago and unfortunately the ceiling collapsed but wait till you guys see this look at this all over the floor oh, oh shit how oh, the shit i get into check this thing out Here's the bathroom, pink bath. Second half, or the front half of the trailer, I should say, is in fair shape. Floor is a little spongy here. So this is the downstairs, so it's got a very large closet. Twin beds down here. This is, reminds me of a boat or something. It's about six foot tall in here. I'm six foot tall and my head is just touching, yeah, six foot two really in here. Nice glass sconces. There's a couple of them missing, you know. Obviously this thing's been around the block or the block's been around it. So then we go up the stairs. Beautiful wood. And we have the master bedroom. <laughs> I'd say that's like a queen in its own little room up here. So this is the front of this trailer. And this is cool, folks. It's got some more water damage coming in there, some water coming in. And then we have this here, which is like a full-size bed in its own little bunk area. It's got a, had a railing of some sort. Some Yeah, this is the kind of stuff crazy old people build. They really over-engineered high quality, almost original, but not ladder systems. And, well, the ladder actually is original, but this is like a railing system. Look at the rolled leather uh, around the uh, where the ceiling meets the wall there. That's so that the trailer doesn't creak and groan. More glass light shades. And what do you got? One, two, three, four, five steps down to the lower area. So I'm six foot tall and I'm standing straight up again. I'd say six foot two, maybe an inch less ground uh, height, interior height up here than the bottom level. And this is a pocket door here, yep. So that shuts you off, closes you off from the world. Really cool. So, again, this is going to be a logistical battle to save this thing. I can't promise that I'll be able to save it, but I can more or less, more or less promise. If that makes sense. It's like an attic area there. Look at that. So the slope of this thing, it's got some interesting truss design. I think that's what did it in as far as the weight of the ice and snow. But it is how old, so we'll give it a break. So this slides across. Yep, closes off that attic storage area. That is cool, man. Again, the craftsmanship in this thing, there is nothing they build today like this. This would cost a lot of money to build today with wood. That's kind of why these are worth saving, you know. Materials are up, values of things like this are up. This will take a tremendous amount of resources, mostly time and energy. You know, the money is one thing, you know, 
a few thousand dollars, a couple thousand dollars to move this thing. Uh, is it worth that? You know, eh. They said they don't have a title for it. That's another nail in the coffin. It's just been here for so long. The bathroom has this pocket door here. So we're going to conclude this one. I uh, appreciate you guys watching as always. Please subscribe. God bless. Um, the guys out here, the owner of the property is out here waiting in the rain. So appreciate you guys as always. Please subscribe. Have a great day.